Hey all, welcome back to part 3 of Naga Artificer. You're here with Ultra Rank 4, or Naa. <laughs> Uh, we finally, finally, finally picked up our god. Che was literally the last altar in the game. And it was on D9 and it was protected. There was a teleport trap back here. So we had to clear D9 before we could actually get in here. But we finally found it. Uh, che, if you're streaking, I highly recommend that you don't play Che. If you're on a 6 game win streak, I very highly recommend that you don't play Che. I must be a masochist or something. Um, the fact that you become so slow means that um, until you become more powerful, you're very, very weak. Well, you're not weak, but you're very vulnerable because situations can spiral out of control very quickly when you no longer have the ability to just employ the walk away strat. Not that you had that really as a naga anyway, but this makes it even worse. Such that it becomes suicidal sometimes even just to reposition. Alright, uh, let's get going then I guess. Uh, we're training our invocation skill because uh, for Che's abilities um, we need to have invo. Particularly we want to have step from time be castable. Because that's a very good panic button to have. Um, we're also, I'm doing a little bit more poison magic just for poison vapors and then I'm going to start training summoning because I was lucky enough to find summon lightning spire in my first book of the game which makes me very happy. And then what else are we going to do? Uh, probably some spell casting but we can wait for that. Also probably um, once I get to 8 fighting I think I'll turn that off for a bit and I'll switch into learning some dodging. Um, as I get more piety with Che, he's going to increase my stats. And as he gives me more decks in particular, it's going to make my dodging much more effective. So we'll see. Uh, where'd you go, Ogre? We're moving at 1.8 already. Um, Poisonous Vapors is amazing against Killer Bees. Because it, it can't miss, so and they're susceptible to poison, so they just get poisoned and die. Did you not see me, Howl Monkey? No, you did. Poison magic to six, it goes off. We turn on summonings. Awesome. Alright, here are the yaks. Again, we want to try to split them up. Let's see if I can yell some of them to me. No? One of them saw me. Okay, there we go. Two of them have now seen me. Well, I got them in a hallway, which is good. Um, I can always confuse them. Let's see how it go. Um, poisonous vapors can make clouds, but I was just going to see if I could get one, but I didn't. Okay, we're starting to die. Alright, so time for confusion. It's a 70% chance we failed. Okay, we got him. And the other one as well. Okay, they're both confused. So now, if we can catch up to them, we can just kill them. Maybe we can... Maybe I should just be poison vape... vape poison vape... I don't know what the, what the verb for that is. Alright, well we got him. I guess that's the main thing. Alright, so we can get rid of these exclusions now. Alright, and we're on to D9. I probably want to get into Lair as soon as possible because there are some really dangerous things I could find in the dungeon that I wouldn't be able to do anything to. Um, even with my Hex Wands and stuff I have, like say Skeletal Warriors, more confusion. That's really, really good. We want all the Hex Wands we can get. And all the teleport scrolls we can get. Another book. Book of Misfortune. This has hexes in it as well. Uh, the thing is, those hexes do much the same thing that my hex wands do. And I've already trained 8 points of evocation. So uh, we're not going to go that means of hexing. 
Time to lose all our food again. We are starving. Okay, reach level 11. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of things. I wish I had all grabs. That would be, that would be kind of the dream to have as a naga with the poison magic that we've trained. Uh, poisoning everything on screen is always a pretty strong play. If that weren't obvious. Okay, there's a the orc warrior. Um, poison vapors is smite targeted. So while I just have these random kobolds in front of me that pretty much do nothing, probably should be poisoning him. It's basically a free chance to just kill him without actually having to fight him. That was pretty good. Okay, um, I'm just going to check armor quickly, but I haven't seen anything. No. No magic armors. The troll. I think I have a really high, yeah, 70% chance to confuse him. Alright, so that's just an easy confuse. Apparently it's not. There we go. The problem is I can't catch him. Hit me anyway. Ugh. Damn. I didn't get a corpse. If I could have got had a, a troll of the armor, that would have been a really, really good armor. It's a pretty um it's a pretty good weight for someone who's fighting and spell casting. Particularly for someone who has um a strangely shaped body. And it also gives you the extra regen. There's our, our lair. I think I'm just going to clear this D10 and then I'm going to go in. I'm not going to go down to D11 and risk seeing the dangerous things down there. Usually I go to D11 and then if something's scary, I just leave. But being a Naga of Che, the just leaving part is not so straightforward. Requirement. Ooh. Um... There's a special thing about acquirement. This is kind of spoilery knowledge because until you know it, uh, you don't know it. But if you're a Naga or a Centaur and you don't have a Barding, when you acquire armor, there's a very high chance that you just get given a Barding. So that's what we do here. Glowing Naga Barding. We go from 20 AC, 9 EV, to 17.7. Yeah, so that's quite an improvement. And now we have a point of fire resistance, as well as looking pretty sweet. We're now a <laughs> a much prettier snack. <laughs> I like how it's red. It matches the, the fire theme of it. Alright, so that's a really good boon for us. We don't have enchant armor, otherwise I would probably do that. As far as other spells, I don't know that I'm going to learn any of these. Probably not, so I'm going to drop this spell book and the cloak. I think the the scarf with repel missiles on it is very useful. Teleport trapped, well. And the staff. I have removed curse so I can see what this is. And I'm going to test, um, I'm going to pick up unknown magical staves. Staff of earth, okay, no. Um, particularly if I go into higher level spells that are good for survivability later, like Control Blink, it'd be very good to have a Staff of Wizardry. Check this hatch. Alright. Oh, there's a Deep Elf. Why is there a Deep Elf on D9? 51% chance to confuse. We got him. Alright. Let's hit him with the Poison, poison Vapors. He looks as sick as possible, so he should just tick out. Good. Uh, that's not what you want to see. Alright, I just went up to test out this this hatch, and then there are all these new, newly spawning packs up here. Um, what if I confuse the front one? Okay. No, oh, we can get in this hallway. Let's confuse again. This was maybe not the right play. When you're in a hallway like this and you confuse monsters, they're likely to stumble around and attack the ones behind them. Uh, yeah, we just need to confuse. We're dying to these guys. Ow. 
got him though. And check out an ice blast. Okay. Oops. Didn't mean to move there. All right. So that was a fair bit of our confusion wand gone. That's all right. We still got 13 charges and then a whole another wand, although it's not ID'd yet. Uh, we got alarm trapped, lol. But I think we've probably done most of the floor. How are we for Spire? 61%. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Let's see what comes. I probably should have maybe put my corrosion ring on against um, the jelly. The North Sergeant, I'm going to poison him. And then uh, poison the ogre behind him. And I could very easily confuse him. It's a 67% chance. Um, I'll spit. We've got a whole bunch of dudes coming, so I think I'll just um, ice blast them. Okay, good. And we can poison vapors this guy. And again, this is a bit scary. Although I have 72 HP, so I think we're okay. Oh, that hurt. Mm. How okay are we? Probably still okay. Alright, and we'll confuse this guy. There we go, I made a cloud that time. Alright, he ticked out to the poison. And again, I wonder if that means the orc entrance is down here somewhere. Seeing as we've had a whole bunch of these dudes coming. Um, let's throw a flame at him. And again, take this slowly. Good. Oh man, even more. Uh, maybe they won't see me, they did. Confuse? Confuse? 70% uh, chance, please. Okay. We get all three with an ice blast there. Hey, we've got a troll of the armor, sweet. Oh man, we're getting, we're getting flanked here. I want to keep poison vape doing poison vapors on the ogre so I don't have to fight him. Two-headed ogre. How's this happening? I mean, we got alarm trap. That's how it's happening. It's not actually a mystery. Can I eat something? There we go. And there is a troll of the armor here. Um, I want to walk away from the double-headed ogre before I get naked. So let's see. 17-7. This takes me to 16.8. So it's one less AC, but uh, it's the same level of stats and it gives me the extra regen. So this is definitely worth it over the ring mail. All right. How do we kill this guy? Confusion chance is 51. That's pretty good. Can throw some poison at him first. And he's pretty dead. If I can bend time, which will slow him, I didn't get him, but again, so now he's slowed. I feel fine just fighting him then. Good, and more things. I'm still picking up stones, which I probably don't need to do. Let's drop the stones. If I want to sling things, I've got 70 sling bullets now. Are they turned off? Yep, okay. And I want to be checking my spire. 36, so we're getting there. In addition to learning the skills, um, Che is giving me extra int as we're getting more piety. So I said I was going to turn fighting off at this stage and do some dodging. I'm also going to turn on spell casting. <laughs> so, uh, people who don't like lots of skills, please look away now. People like that have probably already looked away because of the disgust that they felt when they saw a Naga of Che. Alright, we've done this floor. Let's head into Lair, not into D11. Oh, this is only D10. I could probably do D11. I'm just thinking. Is Lair worse than D11? Probably not. 
as in, sorry, D11 is probably worse than where. I'm not sure if that's what I said, but that's the point I was trying to make. Let's sling this guy. He's resistant to poison. Yep. So poison vapors isn't going to do much. A uh, new scroll. Fear. Okay. These guys also resist poison. So again, hit him with the slings as he approaches. And then we go with the the elect. And I just realized um, there was a shield. Uh, even more skills? Question mark. Let's have a look. You only need nine skill to get rid of the shield penalty. Uh, I think I'd rather have that than dodging. So let's put that on, and then we'll train shields. Um, that's going to hurt our spell casting as well. So we're going to focus shields and turn off spell casting. And then once we got our shield going, um, then we can go back to spells. Is that the right play? I'm delaying lightning spire. Probably not. Okay, never mind. Change your plans. We're going buckler. Spellcasting is going back on. Dodging is going back on. And once we've got spire going, then we'll go to shield. Yep, yeah. okay. Bit of indecision today. Ah, uh, these guys are not resistant to poison. They'll die to the poison vapors. More books. This has vamp draining and corpse rot. Uh, I don't think those two spells would make me want to go into necromancy. So the scroll is noise. Okay, things are coming. So we're heading back to the stair. Apparently they're not coming. Black mamba. Um, can't poison him, so I may as well shoot a flame at him as he approaches. And then we'll give him the elect axe. He still hurts. Alright. If he hit me again really badly, I could have always just um, ice blasted him to finish him off. The main thing about black mambas, um, well, the crazy poison damage they do, but that's not such a big deal for us. Their main danger is the fact that they're really evasive and hard to hit. So an ice blast gets you around that problem because it's not going to miss. Okay, yep. I feel sick, I get it. Alright. This Poison Vapors is a pretty good spell. Yeah, <laughs> good to go. I can't remember if I used it in the tournament. This might be my first proper time actually using it since they introduced it. Oh, it's pretty good though. It doesn't miss. It feels like I'm I'm smite poisoning things. Okay, I got a an artifact ring mail, which I'd like to ID rather than just put on. We'll read this scroll though. Uh, that's the eight menu. Vulnerability. Alright. Um, I want to put those on my auto pickup. Because uh, especially if I I'm trying to hex things with wands. Having the thing I want to hex have half its MR is really good. Recharging. Oh, I have a one of clouds. That's sick. Um, I need to ID that as soon as I can. Um, so we're hanging out for the clouds and the ring mail. Alright. I think the one that I'd most like right now. Um, Recharging Ice Blast again is really good, but so is Recharging Enslavement. I guess for Enslavement, Confusion can do not quite the same thing, but a relatively similar thing. So I'm going to go Ice Blast, which is that one. Okay, we got 7, which is a bit better than last time, but still not amazing. And I'm going to drop uh, the Polymorph Wand. Am I? No, I'll keep it. If I see someone like Sonya, who has a distortion weapon, we can, um, we can always polymorph her, so we never get hit by it. Ok, 
Okay, let's try and get one at a time. See how quickly they catch up? Like I moved the one tile back to the stair and the yak caught up like four tiles on me. We're currently moving at 2.2 .2 per move, which is insane. And we're, we're only going to get slower. Let's check the string. Ring of fire. We have no use for that. Our um, barding already gives us RF. And then that will make us vulnerable to cold attacks. Right, air magic to six. Hmm, how high do I want to get this? We're going to be ending up with a lot of int. So probably if I just get it to seven, um, lightning spy should be plenty castable. So I'll turn air magic off at seven and then I'll focus summonings and we'll, it'll catch up. All right, got another enchant armor scroll, which I think we just put on the Naga biting. Um, it's RF. Oh, let's check these gloves first. Pack is full. We'll drop the regular gloves we're currently wearing. They're just plus one gloves. Okay, so we'll enchant the Naga biting. Naga biting of fire is probably something that we just want to keep. Let's get in this hallway, so it's effectively a kill hole. This one yak is really hurting. Again, we're abusing this um, little choke point here to fight them one at a time. Let's go more int. We got an extra AC. We're up to four. <laughs> Yay. You can notice the extra regen out of the troll leather armor. Because as we're fighting these guys, you can visibly see my, my health coming back. Another ring. Let's see. What can we drop this time? Kind of want all these things. Let's just drop the, the one single fruit. We'll just eat it. There we go. All right, I want to try the ring. Curse teleportation. We don't want that. He doesn't resist poison. No, good. So he can just be <laughs> poison smited. Look at that. This guy. By the time he gets to us, he's almost dead. It's so good. I don't want to fight multiple elephants. I've got a bit of a... Um, this kind of will operate as a kill hole. Alright, we got one at a time, so that's okay. Let's see how we go. I can always use my bend time ability to slow him if I need to. But it doesn't look like I need to. Uh, suddenly wolves. Um... The one that I really wanted to kill so I could get in the hallway is the one that was taking forever to die. Right, uh, here come multiple elephants. Confusion chance 34, not very high. Uh, we've got two elephants next to us, let's use a bend time to slow them. We've got both. Um, I think we're okay. Bend time again. Bend time can be a very useful ability. Um, you want to use your Che abilities. <laughs> Please don't play Che as a meme god where you just think of him as someone who gives you extra attributes. His abilities are actually very strong. Here's our first Hydra. Let's see. Um, we have 12 shots on our ice blast. We also have a flaming weapon, but I'd kind of rather just not fight him in melee at all. So I'm going to shoot a flame at him and then as he approaches, we're going to ice blast. Uh, we can probably finish him, him off with flame. Good. 
How are we going for Spy? It's at 12%, which means I can start using it. Using it. Uh, really good. Maybe I'll stop spellcasting then. Um, so yeah, we'll go Air Magic and Summoning to 7. And then I'll turn Shields back on. Alright, but Spy is castable, so I need to remember that. Time for everyone's favorite spell. The best spell in the game. Dungeon Crawl Summon, summon Lightning Spire with Ultraviolet 4. Alright, same play. This guy's actually in range of the Ice Blast this time though. Um, he's apparently just super strong. Did not want to die. Alright, I had Spire, of course. I saw the Hydra and went into Wand mode, but um, Spire would have helped a lot there. Um, what about here? <laughs> These other guys aren't even waking up. If I could pull up a couple on their own, that would be really good. Uh, we got three of them. Let's slow them, and then put a spy down. Right, and then we should be good here. Ah, oh, spy. This is why you're so good. What a spell. Summon Lightning Spire, ladies and gentlemen. Look at it go. Another recharging. Uh, maybe the same play. Our Ice Blast is back down to 5. I think that's... we just go that one. And we got... we got 3 again. Wow. What is going on? Our recharging RNG is not rolling very strong this game. Let's check out the two things I really want to do are the Wand of Clouds and the Ring Mail. I think the Ring Mail has a better potential for being insane, but it's really not. Our poison is not something we need. Oh, there's our all grabs. Sick. All right. Uh, we slam that, and we can immediately already use it. Let's put it on X, I guess, and I'm going to make a macro for that. Sweet, so now we can poison everything, and I don't even need to train for it. Um, I maybe could, to give it a bit more spell power and make it a bit less susceptible to fail. Maybe we'll get it to 8. With a plus 3 aptitude, getting a, a, a skill from 6 to 8 is basically nothing. And look at all these spells we're doing. I'm sorry. We're going to be turning some off soon. Looks like we got Swamp. So I'm glad we have a, um, a Flaming Axe. And let's poison him. And then Spy will do the rest. can't poison him over the steam clouds. That's super OP. But we can want to flame him, which is extremely effective against eels. Um, so we all grabs, which means we'll get both of them. These guys haven't seen me. Well, they have now. Again, it's all grabs. We'll poison all of them. And I could put down a Spire, but I actually don't really need it. Alright, I think we're, our character's looking pretty good right now. I feel like I'm in a pretty nice place. We've got, we've got our God starting to go. We actually are at 4 Piety as well, so we have Slouch. We have a Barding, and we have Summon Lightning Spire going. Yeah, feel good about this. Okay, Slouch. Causes damage to everyone in sight who is moving faster than you. The higher the difference in speed, the more damage it will do. So as someone who is extremely slow, as a Naga of Che, you actually do insane amounts of damage um, with Slouch. Um, as far as um, your invocation skill for this ability, more invocations doesn't affect the damage. It purely depends on the speed difference. So as far as Slouch is concerned, 
our invocations is just determining whether or not we fail it. But in any case, we're learning invocations for step from time as well. So uh, we're going to keep training it probably to, I don't know, 10, 12 maybe, if we're feeling super invo -y. What are these random adders doing? I don't know, but it's scaring me a bit. What are you all doing, snacks? Snacks, why? Snacks, too many. Some sort of snack family reunion going on. I'm not sure why I didn't get an invite. Okay. Put down a spire to help us with this black mamba. All right. How are we going for axes? We're at about 11. Okay. All right. Immolation's really good with such. <laughs> You can just explode everything on your screen all at the one time. Uh, right, and these other spells. Uh, well, Mephitic is free in the sense that I can just cast it without any further training. So I guess I should pick that up. And then I don't think I want to train Conjurations for Venom Bolt. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Venom Bolt. It's not that it's bad, but... I just don't think we're going to need it. So let's drop that book. And we have Mephitic to potentially um, confuse large groups of enemies. Especially if we get Spider's Nest, Mephitic is really good there. Um, are we still hunting slinging things? I guess. Alright, let's try this ring. Plus two slain. Uh... I feel like I'd rather have protection from magic for the moment. And I'd rather have the extra AC that comes from the Ring of Protection. There you go. Not every day you just drop a, a slaying ring. But uh, that's a strict play, I guess. Dying to Paralysis is one very good way to lose your streak. Whereas, um, plus two slaying, you can work around that. I want to get the lightning rod. In my evocations training, that's really strong. Let's drop the blowgun. Basically, my, um, my poison smite is doing much the same thing that a blowgun does, but even better. Can't miss. And it's a faster action, because I don't have any throwing skill, which is what blowguns work off. Ring of Ice. I guess that's worth carrying just in case I see an ice cave. It means, or say I see an ice dragon or fan or something, I can switch my point of RF for the point of RC. I guess that makes sense. Man, Poison Vapors is so good. More books. Book of Cantrips. Uh, animate Skeleton is something that's kind of annoying, but I probably should use. Appetitions I would like. And I guess I should learn Animate Skeleton. Even if I'm not going to bother with it, I should. Alright, so we're going to make a macro for our Butcher Key again. Which is that. Okay. It's at 11% fail, so I don't even really need to train Necromancy just for that level 1 spell. With the level of int we have from Che, and that's going to keep going up, low level spells like that you can kind of just cast. But Translocations is a spell that we would like to train some of. Oh, Air Magic is past 7. Whoops, turn that off. Um, because getting blink or even control blink, but that's a long way off, would be very good. Okay, let me drop this book now. 
Yeah, protection from cold is better than ice. Alright, that's just four done. On to left for get an, an axe stab. How is spy going? It's at eight percent. Yeah, we're just doing summoning now. Alright, yep. Yeah. And I wonder if I should... I'm carrying around this broad axe of freezing. I guess I probably don't enchant it until I'm actually going to use it. Because in the meantime, maybe I'll find a vamp axe, maybe I'll find an elec axe or something. Broad axe, in which case I'd prefer that to the freezing. Scroll of Fear is good. Gives us another panic option. Uh, protection from fire, we probably don't need that. We have one point already. I can't really see us needing two at this stage of the game. Uh, maybe we might. Okay. I'm going to turn them both off in auto pickup though. We don't need any more of them. Uh, six headed Hydra. Let's put down a Spire this time. And then Ice Blast it. And then I guess I. Pull out my War Axe of Flaming and we chop off some heads. Cool. We got to level 13, which is a very important part in the life of a Naga. You get the ability to constrict your enemies, which increases your melee damage a lot. Excellent. Right, let's make a Hydra Skeleton. You'll see now that. Um, when I hit enemies, I can constrict them. I can only constrict one at a time though. It's not like an octopode where you can constrict eight. Not that that's a great idea when you're an octopode, but it is possible. What am I trying to pick up now? I don't know, even more things. Um... If I put the shield on, what does it look like? No, it means we can't cast anything. Let's drop. kind of want all these things. Let's drop the enchant weapon. We can come back and get them when it's time. There's Harold. Um, he does fire damage. Let's try to get out of this net. Let's put a spire down first, actually. And then let's try to get out of this net. Wow, that took a lot of ghosts. Alright, so we got we got Snake, which is a bit unfortunate because uh, especially with Ogrebs, we would have definitely preferred Spider's Nest because Ogrebs just kills everything there. They're all vulnerable to poison, whereas Nagas are all resistant. We're trying to pick up a Royal Jelly, we'll just eat it off the ground, like some sort of savage. Uh, there we go. My spy couldn't actually help there. And I feel a lot more happy just to tab things with my constriction. Yeah, okay. We're at a pretty good place right now. Uh, we've got five points of piety, so we have the ability to step from time. But you can see it's at a 50% chance to fail. If we look at it though, it removes you completely from the flow of time. Things around you will happen at their usual busy pace. Monsters will wander, may even forget about you. After some time has passed, you return in the same state. Invocations increases the amount of time that passes. Okay, I tend not to not to train invocations to high levels. Training it really high just to increase the time of this is not really worth it. But um, 10 or 12 is usually fine. And that's a really good panic button, um, particularly on wide open levels. It means that uh, the thing that's killing you that you're really worried about, like a death yak, say, um, will wander off. Let's see, what have I got? If I'm just fighting one, no, here come more. Can I wander of clouds? I think I'm going to hit my spire if I wander clouds here. Can't 
tell if I am or not. I don't think so. Okay, what was poison? Which is uh, not amazing against these guys, I think. But they're all getting poisoned. Oh no, it's fine. Okay. Well, let's hit him with an all grabs as well then. We'll go all in on the poison. Look at that. Apparently the death yak pack didn't even bother us. It's fire. Good spell. Um, again. Switch to our axe. Okay. Good. Distant snort. Okay, so we wanted to read a magic mapping for this. There's a labyrinth somewhere on this level. Did I actually clear the one above? Yeah, I did. Okay. Just felt like a really fast left four. Um, it's all the way up the top. Hopefully we can travel around the outside to get in. What's that over there? Oh, slime pits. Okay. So maybe with our stealth we can... Maybe? Sneak all the way up there? Nope, this guy's seen us. Yeah, okay. Well, it kind of worked. Alright, so fighting the Minotaur. Hopefully we find... What are we after? I don't know. Things are pretty good right now. Plus 9 Broad Axe of Vamp. How about that? Alright, so we're at the top of the level. We want to be heading in. Which is down. Nope. Nope. I don't have any digging either, so we're we're stuck doing this the hard way. Oh, black tiles indicate no indicates a vault. Time to lose all our food again. Let's not. Uh, this is really bad. We don't want to be fighting two at once because they're gonna hunger us more quickly than we can eat. Um, oh, yell them to me. Alright. Goodbye food. Let's just eat this fruit. And this one, uh, ring is plus three dex. No good. Alright, so it looks like the correct way is actually this way. <laughs> Doing a massive loop right now. This might be it somewhere here. This sort of twisty thing. Nope. I don't know, I always get really scared at this point. Um, no, so there's none here. I don't know if I went this way. No. So I guess maybe he's down here somewhere. Where are you? Mini. He's hiding right in the corner. Yeah, he is. Okay, let's... What are our chances to hex him? Only 34% chance. What I could do is put a spy down here and then call out, call out to him. And when we get chances to hit him with things as he runs up, I could have a go at confusion. Just roll the dice on a 34% chance. Yeah, okay, we got him. Alright, well, let's just poison him to death then. And Spire can help out. Alright, easy enough. I said I'd stop at 8% for all grabs. Sorry, at 8 points of poison magic, which I think I'll stick to for the moment. Uh, it's probably good enough. And then 
turn auto pickup off so I don't just pick up a million things here. Ooh, okay, so we've got a bunch of rings. Um, a book of battle. That's really exciting. Um, that has a lot of things that I really like. Song of Slaying, Spectral Weapon, and Regen are all spells that I would like to have. This is this is turning into a really ultraviolet four hybrid style game. Who are all these people saying hybrids are dead? Hybrids are not dead. You're crazy. Um, okay, so what else have we got? Uh, let's try the stuff. Stuff of fire. No. We want the fire dragon scales. Um, that's potentially an armor that we might like to wear in the future. We have a couple of artifact rings. Um, well, in the interest of all these things that we're carrying, and actually, let's just get rid of the hunting sling. I haven't been using that at all, and the tomahawks. Let's uh, just jiggle our things around a bit. Alright, so let's just, in the interest of item slots, let's just find out what these rings are. This one has three points of RC. Um, I think I'm happy keeping that in place of the protection from cold, because if I ever need it, I can just put this one on and get three points of RC. What about the other one? Uh, okay, so this one had Contam on it. I have three points of... This is why you don't want to just randomly put on artifact rings. I have three potions of cancellation though, so I can drop that. Um, I get contaminated, and then I quaff cancellation. So I feel less contaminated now, so I believe... Yeah, I get faded. Yep. So you just, you just have to cancel once, and then you won't. Um my words you won't get mutated after that I want the book of battle and I probably want to learn um, what's the best one out of those to have probably either regen or spectral weapon probably spectral weapon alright let's learn that then we need to switch our spells around. And I'm going to need to switch my macros too. Because um, I always have my spectral weapon on one particular key. And then I guess we'll do poisonous vapors on here. Which is now on what spell is it on? It's on B, but I'll put it on F. No, I'll put it on S. Alright. So this macro becomes poisonous vapors. Now let's see how many times it takes me to figure that one out. <laughs> so I'm probably going to screw it up a lot. And I'm going to put um, my ore grabs on a different one as well. Because ultimately I'm going to need regen on one. Oh god. Okay. No! No, 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 no. no. Okay, there we go. Alright, that was some exciting gameplay. Figuring out macros. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to save those so I don't accidentally um, quit the game and then forget and have to do it again. Alright, what else is here? Shiny scale mail. I can't imagine. I mean, maybe it's plus 9. Let's just find out. It's plus 1. That's not plus 9. So no, we're not doing that. And then, oh, uh, the Book of Clouds is probably worth it as well. What's in that? Hmm, maybe not. I can't see us using any of those, except for, we've already got Vapors and Mephitic, so I guess we don't really need that. And then we want the Box of Beasts and the Lamp of Fire, both good items with Evocation skill, which we have 8 of. I think that's everything. We may as well check a Ring War Axe. Anti-magic. I guess that's useful to have against um, 
some magic enemies. Okay, we can carry that around. And that's it. Don't really need another one to pull him off. I guess this one is almost out, so the odds are that this one will be have more charges. Alright. Oh yeah. I think we're gonna wrap that one up there. If you join me in the next one, we'll finish off Lair, and then we'll head back into the dungeon. It's going pretty nicely at the moment. Naga of Chai seems to be working. So, see you later.